All right, time for another shed talk. Because of the new M12 Gen 3 drill driver. Okay, uh, you guys are probably already know that the new stuff has already come out. The Gen uh, Gen 4 M18 and the Gen 3 M12 impacts and dr uh, drills. Currently, I only have the drill right now because. What I think they really want to need to come out with is the new updated surge with the tri light. I think that for me is going to be the, the the impact that I want to upgrade. So today we're going to talk about the good and the bad of the new drill. Uh, first, little comparisons. Now you may notice that this is the non hammer drill driver, and my Gen Two is the hammer drill. Uh, obviously, I got these Home Depot and the package deal from there. This I ordered straight tool only because, admittingly, I've never really used the drill, the hammer drill function on this, except for just testing and playing around. If I need a hammer drill, I go with the M18. So, it was a little bit cheaper, but the main thing is that it's lighter. Uh, on the scale, this came out to one excuse me, 2.18 pounds without battery. And the uh, Gen 2 and Gen 3 are both listed at 2.6. So a good 0.4 pounds, you know, uh, four ounces or so uh, lighter with the non hammer drill. So, and it just feels, you know, you have a compact drill for lightweight and with a function I'm never gonna use, why add the weight? And it's not, super noticeable but it is a little bit noticeable um, it's also technically 0 0.05 inches shorter but who in their right mind is going to notice that um, the length really is noticeable you can see it but where the length is really gone from is the back of the drill um, from the trigger forward they're really not that much different um, there's not a very noticeable difference from you know the front of the trigger out to the, uh, the the tip of the chuck there. The really the savings is in the back. Um, one of the big upgrades they did is they took it from an electronic clutch to a mechanical clutch, which uh, seeing as that they'd only lasted one generation, you can see that it wasn't much of a success. On the M18, I don't mind it as much. I don't use a, the, the clutch uh, as much on a bigger drill um, because I'm usually just making holes and not worrying about feathering uh, small fasteners in. Um, they actually, in after this came out, the, the installation drill driver came out with the mechanical clutch. So once that came out, it kind of was a telltale story that the next gen of the drills were gonna be mechanical. So also gone is kind of that slow ramp up um, in speed one in a low clutch setting. Uh, this had a, had a little funny of a slow startup. Listen here. Okay, that's gone. Speed one, low clutch setting. Okay. The clutch is pretty light on its lowest setting. Um, it is not as light as the DeWalt 12 volt extreme screwdriver on one. This has an extremely light clutch. Uh, so if you're doing really, really small fasteners, um, this is still gonna be lighter. But I'd say if I was gonna guesstimate, this probably about, the lightest clutch on this probably starts at about three on the, so you get an extra two or three clutches, lightness of clutch on the DeWalt there. But it's still a pretty light clutch if you like to use that function. Um, RPMs are a little bit slower on speed two than on the Gen 3 than the Gen 2, but that means you're gonna be able to get through, um, you know, not as fast, but you're gonna be able to get bigger bits through on a higher speed. Um, the other day I was using this to drill a half inch spade bit into the end grain of a piece of wood to do a special project. And this wouldn't do it on speed two, it would do it on speed one. I tried it again with this one, it, it wouldn't do it. Uh, it would do it on speed one. So then I just played around with it and took the same bit through the piece of wood this would not do it on speed two and this would and this was all with a two amp hour battery i think the other day i was using a big 6.0 on this but 
this is the form factor I like to use these compact drills with. What's the point of having a compact uh, Milwaukee if you're going to have an additional battery on there? I like to have these as, you know, it's a compact drill, so put the compact battery on it, which is why I'm anticipating highly the new, uh, the new high output coming out soon, so we'll grab that when it comes out. Okay, so the good things. Um, it's lighter, it's more compact, mechanical clutch is really nice. The bad, okay, the bad is something I still haven't decided if it's bad or not. The, um, if you know from my previous video, admittingly, even though I like Milwaukee uh, fuel drills, M12 and M18, uh, the M18 is a great ergonomics because it doesn't have the stick battery going through there making the fatter grip. Um, but admittingly, the M12, yeah, it has a fat grip and it's noticeable. If you go to something like a DeWalt, this has a beautiful grip on it. That is so ergonomic. It fits the hand like a, I mean, it's just, it just is like a connection, you know, extension of your hand. Uh, the M12 with the larger diameter grip doesn't get that warm, fuzzy feeling the same as like a DeWalt or an M18. Um, but what they did do, you can, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but they kind of went back to the more hourglass shape on the handle. You can see it goes a little bit narrower on the Gen 3 than the Gen 2. Um, it's a little more pronounced hourglass shape, so they kind of took it in a little bit to combat that. But one of the things that do, that did change is you got to look at this this shape right here, okay? If you look at like the Gen 3, you have, because this drill is longer in the back, you have this shelf back here, okay? And that shelf is real pronounced. And your hand, when the, I'm gonna call it the nook from now on, same, I don't know what it's called, but this nook here, it really, it gets in there. Same, and on the uh, stubby, it's like a flat little shelf there. And your hand just, it gets in there and it's real solid feeling, okay? And that feels nice when you're using it. It's like a connection, you have a lot of good control. The new Gen 3 does not have so much of a shelf. And this curve, if you kind of look, and this is getting kind of kind of deep here, you might not care. Okay, look at where the, the trigger is. The trigger is, is quite even across to where this shelf lies, which means that when your hand is up in here, your finger just goes right over the drill, okay? It lays perfectly on there. Same with an M18. Your finger just goes straight across. With this one, because this, this curve is so large and there's no real flattening out of it, there's no real end to where, if I put my hand on here to where my finger is coming straight across this, you can see some space up there. There's still, you still have the ability to kind of choke up on that grip a little bit. And it's not terrible, right? It's not like, it's not the end of the world, but it doesn't, my, my finger wants to go, if it's straight across, it's almost halfway across the light, okay? And my finger naturally kind of wants to rest on the, on the tip here instead of kind of in this curve. Now this is getting, a little far into it, right? You might be like, dude, this guy, come on. But there's so many drills out, there's so many products. You have companies like DeWalt who basically copy and paste, you know, this section of their drills and impacts from one to one because they have this, just, they have it figured out. Whereas Milwaukee, it seems like, I don't think a single drill impact in here has the same grip. It's like they kind of make it up as they're going and, and see what happens. Um, it's not a bad feeling. In fact, when I was kind of pressing, when it kind of came to be kind of comfortable was when I was pressing real hard, trying to, you know, get a big hole or a, a big hole made. Um, because this angle is a little sharper, it feels a little cramped in there. And then where you have this one, because it's more open, the, the pressure is not as much. So I, I don't know. My verdict is still out. I don't know how it's going to translate into, you know, drill performance or 
comfort over time or anything like that. It's nitpicky, maybe a little bit, but you know, it's supposed to be one of the best products out there. And yet the ergonomics just kind of seem a little bit lacking, right? It's comfortable. <sighs> you might have to just try it and see and kind of feel what I'm, what I'm talking about. It just kind of feels like I want to pull here, not from here. I don't want to pull on the tip of the trigger. I want to pull here. If I'm going to be doing this a lot, it just never... It, I've had it a few days and it just hasn't it hasn't felt right from the get-go like you know a good pair of shoes they just feel right a good drill should feel right in your hand and this one it just it just hasn't yet maybe I'm not used to it maybe you need to go for a, a middle finger pull here that feels a little bit better but you know we already got a middle finger pull on the drill driver here that's kind of where this one lives if you're you're drilling like this it feels awkward so um one more good thing about this which will make this better for a lot of work is the increase in uh airflow uh with the three-part body here with the back plate going and the two clam shells you have an additional ventilation port back here and when you put these on full speed here Feeling the air, there is a lot more air being pushed out of this drill, which means there's a lot more air getting through the drill, getting through the motors, cooling it off, like a lot more. Okay, so this should be able to do more work, hard work than the Gen 2 would. So that's a good plus on this. The ergonomics, I can live with it, right? I'm not gonna send this back or anything, but you know, with stuff that just feels so perfect in, in hand and a drill really should be an extension of your hand, you know, especially when they get it so right with, man, that just, that just, that gets in there and it just doesn't quite have that same huggy, you know, that same, you know, because you use a lot of, you know, back here comes a lot of stability. You're going to have to have less grip on it. You know, your hand's not going to fatigue as much because you're not having to control the drill. And this could just could be extreme cases. But I think it's a, it's definitely a buy. It's definitely a good upgrade from the Gen 3. It is much smaller, much lighter. The clip is better. The screw that goes into the belt clip is much larger, so more secure. Uh, they have some uh, attachments that are going to come. You can buy to put like, uh, oh, where is it at? Like I bought this off a guy, a maker who you, uh, you know, you clip, you screw this into here and you got to be able ability to hold some, some bits. Milwaukee's making those are compatible with the Gen 3, uh, M12 Gen 3 uh, impact and drill and all of the M18 stuff. And that's pretty cool. They're making stuff. They're kind of probably taking notice to all the aftermarket maker stuff that's going on and kind of getting into that market. Um, I think I'm gonna have to use this a lot more to really, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. It's just, it doesn't quite have that immediate, just mm, feeling in your hand because the M12 already suffers from uh, ergonomics that are not as good as a 12 volt DeWalt or an 18 volt Milwaukee because of the increased diameter. You know, they are a big grip and you do want that kind of, that kind of secure feeling in your hand. And it, it has it, but it's just a little bit off. And it's not, it's not as good as it could be. And I, you know, they, I think they had room, like the, the stubby, they took it back further, right? And this one, they, I think they were just going for the maximum compact space and they had to make a you know they had to do something i think they they could have lowered this and made this a little bit flatter right here to kind of make a more a more pronounced stopping point for your hand is just it's not going up any higher and it kind of locks yourself in there it just this doesn't have it you're kind of just holding on to the to the grip here without the secure feeling of your hand uh, up against the cradle and the nook. So 
I don't think it's a fail on any part. Well, maybe a little bit. Um, but I think it's definitely, they've improved the quality. The clutch feels more secure when locking. So that's another benefit. Uh, the all black looks cool. You know, if you want to go into the look of a drill. Now the design uh, with the rear plate and the four bolt here, it matches the design of the M18. So that all kind of gels a little bit better if you want to talk about design. Um, the M12 went with a, you know, a rounded rear with the square front. I always looked kind of off to me, but I never really could put my finger on it until you see this and you're like, oh, right, that's what's wrong with it. So good tool. Um, I like it, but I, I would appreciate a more pronounced stopping point for my hand uh, up here in the nook to where it would just feel a little bit more solid. Uh, that's really the only thing I can think of that um, is a minus. It's just the decrease in kind of that solid grip feel that you get from uh, all of these other drills and impacts. So that's it. Um, appreciate you stopping by and listening to my crazy. Um, I go through the details, I hope, a little bit more. Uh, there's plenty of people who are making holes, which is important to see the power and the runtime and the whatever. But I kind of get, let's look past that. Let's go, let's go a little bit deeper. How does it feel? You know, because that's important. You're handling this all day. These are not cheap tools. You want to feel right. And it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. And I wanted it to feel perfect. Um, and feel so secure like the old one did, but it 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 kind of just doesn't. Honestly, it just doesn't have that that. There's no connection right in here, I'm, it, and if I do, my hand's super, my finger is super high, and I gotta angle it in and change my grip, and my wrist is all wonky, and it just doesn't feel right. So that's kind of that's my opinion, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.